Bradley has joined Swansea City, becoming the first American manager to ply his trade in the Premier League. The American owners of Swansea City have got their fellow countrymen in. There's already a number of American owners too in the Premier League. Are we going to suddenly become awash with American things in our beloved game in England? I mean, what next? Hot dogs instead of pies? Hot dogs are available at pretty much every ground in the country, Marcus. Putting a sausage in a bun isn't exactly new here, is it? Yeah, I suppose we do. Um, all right, well, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll see the introduction of cheerleaders then. Crystal Palace have had cheerleaders called the Crystals for ages, mate. And Leighton Orient used to have cheerleaders called the Cheerios. All right, then, uh, half-time entertainment. That'll probably turn up as well. Well, we've always had, like, kids taking penalties and the dizzy stick at half-time, and Tiny Temper did the pre-match entertainment in the FA Cup final this year, so it's pretty much already here. OK, then, fine. Uh, T-shirt cannons, then. Yeah, but Arsenal's mascot, Gunnosaurus, he's been doing that for years, hasn't he? He's, he's known for firing a T-shirt out of a cannon. Flipping heck. I, I don't know. We'll be introducing overtime next. That's just extra time, mate. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, fine. Driving on the right. We'll be driving on the right-hand side of the road soon enough. Oh, shut up. It's all right, all right, all right. Fair points, well made. Fine. Going to the Premier League, Bob. Yeehaw!